Hi, welcome to The Surge 2. Here are some tips that can be useful on your playthrough. Enemies have armored or unarmored spots on their body. You can aim at individual parts using the targeting system. You do more damage to exposed areas and less damage to armored ones. Armored pieces can yield materials, schematics, weapons, and implants. To get them, you're going to have to weaken the part and then execute to sever the piece from the enemy. Stamina allows you to attack, defend, dodge, and jump. Allow it to regenerate or you may find yourself defenseless. Energy is generated and temporarily stored when attacks and blocks connect. Use it to perform executions and power various implants, including healing. Use it at the right time and direction to completely deflect an enemy attack. There's also an implant that displays the correct parry direction. After a successful parry, you get a powerful counterattack that does double damage. Stronger enemies are harder to counterattack. Their guard breaks when the shield icon is filled. Deploy and activate it at any given time. Use it to destroy electronics, shoot enemies from a distance, and even cut off their limbs. Improve your exo rig with tech scraps. Tech scraps are mainly dropped when killing enemies. Carrying a lot of tech scrap and killing many enemies increases your scrap reward multiplier, which resets after visiting the med bay. Using the tech scrap in the med bay allows you to improve your exo rig's core power and your item's stats. Or you can spend them with vendors to buy unique implants, armor, and drones. Armor sets can grant you both partial and a full set bonus. Craft matching pieces to use their passive abilities. Synergize your armor selection with your implants. Implants can drastically change the way your character interacts with health, energy, and stamina. That concludes our tips for surviving the world of The Surge 2. Good luck.